changes. Hey guys, what's up? It's Trunks, and today I'm coming at you guys with an how-to guide for warring with low heroes. I've been seeing a lot of people asking around the forums and other areas how to three-star bases when your heroes are low. Today we're going to be taking a look at the infamous strategy of HG, HB. Uh, to jump right in, the troop composition is going to be 12 giants, 4 healers, 12 hogs, 8 wizards, and then the last few camp space you can fill up with any troops that you feel you need. Then you're going to go on CC bowlers. You want 2 heals, 2 rages, and 2 poisons. Um, with that being said, we'll go ahead and jump right into the first replay. We have Ron Veers. He's going to step up and show you guys how it's done. Um, you're basically going to find a flat side of a base that you can enter into. Um, as you can see, this is pretty much a fully maxed out 9, and the heroes are 25, 26 on the queen. So, And he's coming in with 12, 12 heroes, and he's going to end up 3-starring this base. So as you can see, with the low heroes, this strategy will be very strong. But what you want to do, like I said, is find a flat side of the base where your giants can come in pretty easily. And then you're going to get the healers down on your giants. This is key because it will help keep them up. And then you're just going to use some of your wizards. And then if you bring a baby dragon, he always brings one um, just because he likes to get that extra tanking on the funnel. Um, but if you basically make use the baby dragon or your wizards, make a big wide funnel so that way your bowlers and your heroes will follow your troops and your giants right into the base. And then you're basically going going to want to drop a rage on the entry and then have a rage in the core of the base so that way your bowlers will be able to take down that giant area while the giants are tanking. And then the key thing is with your hogs, since you only have 12 of them, you want to be very patient and conservative with them. You want to see where your giants are going. And if you see individual point defense towers locked on to your core or group of giants, then just send in one to two hogs into those towers so that way they are easily able to take them out without taking any damage. And then you're going to just save your heal spells on your hogs for when they are going to get outside of that area of where the giants would be tanking for them. So that way you can keep your hogs up and not lose a good amount of them. Uh, but the key to HGHB is actually patience. It's not an attack where you want to get all of your troops down in a relatively quick fashion. You want to be patient. You want to wait to see which way your giants are going to go because you're not using a jump to direct them in any direction. So there is a possibility that they could turn and go through a different wall that you don't quite expect them to go through. Um, and another key on this is you want to find kind of these more boxy bases with a lot of compartments because it will allow you to kind of plan or predict where your giants will go easier if you're going to be hitting wide open kind of moat bases or ring bases it's not going to be as good of a strategy for you because your giants um, could stray and go off as you can see on this one though he's going to start off with the minion on the bottom side and then he gets that baby dragon down to tank the archer tower and then sends in a few wizards and at this point he has a huge massive funnel and he gets the giants down and then gets a few additional wizards down to create the funnel. Has the healer on his giants so that way they stay up the whole time. And then he just waits till they're about to get through that wall. And then he's going to get down his heroes. He gets down the barb king. And the key is you want to make sure that the giants are getting through that wall before you send your troops. And you want them almost to get through that wall so that way the giants are out front. So when the clan castle comes out it locks on the giants and not your barb king. Um, and then you're going to have your bowlers behind. Like I said, rage spell on the entry. Use the poisons for the queen and the clan castle to be able to take them out. And then the bowlers will just rip through that core area. As you can see, they pretty much handle that and take it out. And then he just trails in a few hogs as the buildings are preoccupied. So he's only used four hogs so far and he's been able to take out a few buildings. And he still has some of the initial hogs still standing as well as the giants out front tanking with the healers on them and then the bowlers are just sitting in the back with the queen picking off everything and then he proceeds to just be patient and wait and see where his giants are going which walls they're going to go through and then he's able to just start trailing in hogs as the buildings are preoccupied on the backside when the hogs are outside of the giants range he gets that heal spell down for them 
And then as he comes to this backside, you'll see the Giants will get over there. He's got the heel spell down. So that way the Wizard Tower is not doing too much. But then at this point, all of the final point defense buildings are locked on to the group that's in the core. And the Hogs are able to come in through the backside. Uh, once again, other than walls and I think a few of the things, this was a maxed out Town Hall 9 or close to it. And he was coming in with 12-12 heroes. And the enemy had heroes over level 20. So as you can see, he's still a little guy at coming in and smashing these big bases. So if you're coming up to be a new 9, working on Giants first and then getting the healers and hogs, um, if you have access to bowlers, we'll give you access to a very powerful 3-star strategy that is still working very well in the game after all of the updates that have come. Um, but that's going to wrap up things for today, guys. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the bottom, and I will try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. But until next time, guys, this is Trucks keeping it over 9,000.